Hi kitty cats. So I'm going to show you how to make a dessert that everyone I know really, really likes. And it's called a gin pumpkin gingerbread trifle. And it's really simple. You just make some gingerbread like I have here. And you can use a store-bought gingerbread mix or you can use whatever, you know, your recipe or whatever. You also need to make some whipped cream. Sorry about the mess back here. And I add a pint of heavy cream, some vanilla, just to taste, and about a quarter cup of confectioner's sugar. And then you just beat it until it looks like this. <laughs> and now, I'm going to show you how to make The next part and the next part is you make a thing of pudding and I'll show you how big just a second sugar here too you want a thing of a pudding and pie filling like that you see that okay so it's the Five one five point one ounce pudding and pie filling, and you can do it instant or you can use a cook and serve. You make it and then you let it chill, and then you want to add three quarters of a cup of light brown sugar. If you want, you could use dark. I mean, but I mean, I prefer light in a dish like this. Dark might be a little too much, so go. Three quarters of a cup. Pack down brown sugar. Two and three. I know it's a lot of brown sugar, huh? And then you're going to add to that a bleh, a <laughs> my brain just thought a 30 ounce can of easy pumpkin pie mix. You see that? And we're gonna pour that right in there. I know it's a lot. And then we're gonna add a little cinnamon. I don't really measure it. I just sprinkle some in. And then we gotta whip this all up. Now, you can do it by hand, or you can use an electric beater. I'm doing this part by hand. So you wanna just get that all mixed in. This is like a favorite recipe. Um, it's originally a Paula Deen recipe, but I tweaked it a bit, so I think the original recipe called for cardamom, and it used Cool Whip instead of whipped cream, which I don't like, so I've got all my own little differences on this recipe, because I prefer whipped cream over Cool Whip. Cool Whip is just vegetable oil that's been whipped and I don't particularly care for that. So, that's the three layers. Now we have the trifle bowl. Can you see it? Right there. Oh. And, there's my arm. First thing you want to do, and you don't, you can just use your hands because you want to crumble it. Dig your hands into that gingerbread. You're just going to make a layer on the bottom. It's a little crumbled, see? <laughs> it's kind of fun. You get to be a little messy. And 
And if these uh, cooking ones, if you like these cooking ones, let me know. Give it a thumbs up. Give me a comment about whether you like seeing stuff like this. Because I have been wanting to do a cooking channel. And I think I'm going to be able to do one or two videos a week on cooking. Because I've been able to do Vlogmas every day. And so I think I can do the cooking channel with this camera. It's a little bit harder, but I think I can do it. And then wash your hands. <laughs> I've got like swatch stains on my hands. Wow, that eyeliner stays on good. <laughs> that must be a very good eyeliner. <laughs> All right. So the next part, ah, you can use whatever you need to use to to do this: a spoon, a spatula, whatever you like. If you put a whole bunch of the pumpkin mixture down, doesn't that look so good? You know, I love this so much. It's such a good recipe. And then you want to put, I've got two of these wet spatulas, some of the whipped cream down. You may do that a little more carefully because you don't want the whipped cream to become runny or break too much. You want enough to put on top as well. Just try and get that. There we go. Doesn't that look good? Hmm. Huh? So then just layer it up again. More. I know I wash my hands. I'm gonna have to do it all over again. More gingerbread. I just bought this trifle bowl. Really. I used to use just a regular glass bowl. I always wanted a trifle bowl, and then I saw one in a thrift store, and I went crazy. I was like, I have to have this bowl, because now I can make trifle in a bowl, so it'll look like pretty, right? So there you go. Wash the hands again. Now, there's a lot of washing of hands involved in this. Then you want... Make sure it's recording okay. More of this. Pumpkin mixture. Oh, a little bit didn't get mixed in, but that's okay. You can just swirl it around like that so that it's pretty. <laughs> Trust me, nobody's going to notice because it's all going to blend together. And these things happen. And then you want to top it off with this. Isn't that pretty? You might get a little pumpkin mixture mixed into it. It's okay. And then you want to take, I always leave just a little bit of the gingerbread. And I crumble it a little bit more just to get, make it look a little pretty, a little garnish, you know. And there you go. That's the whole thing. Isn't it just gorgeous? And you put this in the fridge. Let it chill overnight so that it all like kind of blends and gets all yummy, yummy, yummy. <laughs> and that's it. That's the pumpkin gingerbread trifle. And I'll put the recipe down below. Bye, kitty cats.